All right, here is a custom Flash video player, one of many through uh, masterflash.net. Uh, this is only a sample video showing you bits and pieces of what's a part of the actual uh, four or five hour tutorial. In this particular one, we're going to be creating a uh, XML selectable playlist, and we're going to do a rework of the uh, tile list component, which will basically allow us to load, um, obviously, corresponding text for the video, Swift files into the each individual cell, along with images, movie clips, and uh, whatever we would think is relevant for uh, you know populating a selectable playlist. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop you in about mm, halfway into part one, and uh, just let it roll for a little bit. What we need to do is we need to create a couple of action script files and go ahead and name them and remember the names that we named them. So uh, what I would do is just come down here, grab an action script file, go ahead and save it. And this first one, our main one that I'm going to use, I'm going to call this playlist underscore controller. All right. And I'm just going to go ahead and replace that other one. And then, of course, we need to create a second one. All right. So I'm going to call this one our image details. All right. So go ahead and do that. And we're not going to get into these quite yet. We will in a minute. But we have to set our main file up to communicate with our playlist controller. All right. So the way we're going to set this up is through our properties panel. So uh, if you don't know what your properties are, come down here to uh, properties, select properties. All right. Kind of covering the basics. I'm sure you know that by now. All right. So uh, let's see. Playlist controller. Playlist underscore controller. No need in putting the dot as. It'll automatically recognize it. All right. So before we go any further, um, let's go ahead and throw some things out on the stage. As you can see, I've already set up a couple layers in here, FLV playback and all controls. All right. So for my all controls, I'm going to come into my components in here and uh, go ahead and grab a tile list component. Just kind of drop this down here. And I'm going to grab the FLV playback component in the uh, video area. Let's drag this out on the stage put this up on my playback layer. All right. So for right now, that's all we need to do. Um, let's see. Uh, go ahead and grab your FLV here and let's go ahead and give this an instance name of vid underscore player. All right. And let's grab our tile list and give this the instance name of tile underscore list. All right. We should be set for now. What I'm going to do is I've got some uh, widescreen video that I'm going to play out here. I'm just going to go ahead and resize this. Obviously, you can use this to uh, whatever you need. The way I'm doing this and the way I'm going to show you is that it'll maintain aspect ratio for any of the videos. So if you have you know a 320 by 240 video that's going to play, it's automatically going to resize. It's not going to play throughout this entire file. But I'll go over that stuff in a little bit. All right. Okay. So uh, our next step is to hop into our action script file over here and go ahead and get started. All right, to set this up, usually in the uh, document class, it's just package, opening bracket, and we've got a ton of stuff that we need to uh, import here. All right, so we're going to start with the controls, import fl.controls.listclasses.cell renderer. All right. And uh, semicolon, next line, import fl.controls dot uh, scroll bar direction, semicolon, import fl.controls dot tile list, semicolon. All right, the next thing is uh, import flash.display dot movie clip, semicolon, import fl. Uh, dot video dot uh, what is this uh, video event semicolon import fl dot nope import flash dot events dot event semicolon import flash dot events dot uh, excuse me mouse event semicolon import flash dot text dot text field semicolon import flash dot net dot URL loader semicolon and import flash dot net dot URL request. Alright, just kind of uh, go back through these. 
This is going to allow us to, um, you know, recreate some of our um, cells in our tile list. All right, this is going to be able to give you the option of setting your scroll vertically or horizontally. This, of course, is for the tile list. This allows us to throw some things on the stage in our main file as well as creating movie clips through our action script file. Video event, this is so we can listen for when the video ends. All right, our events is going to be for our basic, you know, any type of event that we create in the file. And the mouse event is going to be for uh, actually creating some buttons and stuff like that. Text field, this allows us to throw some dynamic text on the stage with uh, uh, some instance names, which is something that we're not going to do. That's just sort of what this is for. As well as uh, setting this up for us in this file, we're going to be using this to actually throw some text inside of our uh, cells. Okay. And of course, the URL loader and URL request. The URL loader specifically is for loading our XML file. The URL request is for also the XML file, but at the same time, that's going to be for some of the buttons that we're going to be using. Um, which, you know what, actually, I don't think we're going to be doing that because we're not specifically calling anything outside with the buttons, so uh, scratch that. Okay, uh, the first thing we need to do is set up the public class. So we just type up public class, and we have to name this the same name as our action trip file here. All right, so we're gonna say uh, playlist underscore controller, opening closing parentheses. No, wait, sorry. Controller extends movie clip. Uh, opening bracket, next line, and we need to create the loader for our XML loader. So we're going to say private var XML underscore loader colon URL loader semicolon. All right, and uh, for this one, that's all we're putting up here, unless something changes later on. All right. Um, this next bit is for our uh, function for our playlist controller. So we basically need to uh, tell it what we're going to do with it. So let's say uh, public function playlist underscore controller opening closing parentheses colon void opening bracket. All right. Okay. So uh, to load the XML file, we need to put XML underscore loader equals new loader are you new URL loader opening closing parentheses semicolon and uh, the next line XML underscore loader dot add event listener opening parentheses event dot complete in all caps comma start underscore video which is going to be a function that we'll name later on all right, now let's uh, actually give the file path to our XML file. So we're going to say XML underscore loader dot load, opening parentheses, new URL request, opening parentheses. And since I'm going to be working on this locally, I'm just going to put uh, master flash. Uh, let's see, what is this? What is the name of that file? Okay, master flash underscore. Uh, streaming without the E and A underscore playlist dot XML and I forgot one thing to uh, put an opening quotation mark down here all right and then uh, we have to close this parentheses and this parentheses so uh, closing parentheses closing parentheses semicolon all right and here's we're gonna set up our tile list component That is the end of the custom flash video player selectable playlist sample video. To find the uh, source files and watch the entire tutorial, you can go ahead and head towards masterflash.net. Hope you enjoy it.